So here we have a uh, pear-shaped vase um, from the Qinlong period or from the 18th century, actually probably early 18th century, could be also late Kangxi or Yongcheng. And it's decorated in uh, blue and iron red, both under the glaze. So it's actually not iron red, it's copper red, um, because iron red is always above the glaze and copper red is below the glaze. And it is a classic subject in Chinese art, which is called the uh, Hundred Antiques. So you can see here a very large uh, uh, fang gu and, and some uh, vessel here, bronze vessel, and another one here. And here's a small incense burner. And here's a, a pot for scrolls. You can see the scrolls in there. Here's some books piled up, a vase. And uh, here we have another scroll. Uh, a group of scroll actually that are sash tied uh, together. Here is a, a game of weichi with two boxes where you put the weichi pieces in. It's very, very detailed. You can see there's lots, lots to discover. And some of the pieces are also inscribed like this incense burner here with an inscription. You can see the smoke coming out here. And here you have uh, another uh, uh, goo vessel uh, from bronze, which is here uh, inscribed. And um, yeah, I think uh, the great thing about these really old pieces is that uh, for the potter to create this vessel, because back in the old day, you just had a, a huge oven, the temperature was very difficult to control, and you never knew the outcome when you put the vessel actually in there unless you were really experienced. And so um, it's, it's almost impossible to build a vase that is n where, where the neck, the trumpet neck, is not leaning to a certain, to a certain direction. The line here is burnt to orange in the firing, and all of that uh, just tells us that we're looking at an authentic vase uh, from the uh, 18th century, which compares favorably to a piece that was sold at Christie's for... Uh, almost 50,000 pounds in 2010, which is roughly 70,000 euros in today's money, has a different shape, but it's also copper red and blue under the glaze, extremely rare combination. Why? Because um, the firing of the copper red and the blue, um, copper red only um, becomes red at a certain temperature and only for very little time. So timing that this actually turns red and not, as we see here, peach bloom or liver red uh, or some other color is also very complex. And so for this reason, they are very rare. You can see some of the green spots here very nicely coming out. Yeah? Um, but just so that still the red is dominating or dominant and this makes it so really, really beautiful.